Hey everyone, my name is Rodney. I'm here with Board Game Geek and Nick Little from Indie Boards and Cards. And we're at Origins 2019. And we're going to show you, well, he's going to show you Among Thieves. Among Thieves. So yeah, the, the title of the game comes from the expression, there's no honor among thieves. OK. So in this game. Does that um, remain true here? That does remain true here, <laughs> right, yes. Right. This game is set in the dystopian universe that you know from games like Coup and The Resistance, right. and yep. Grifters, and Exodus, if you've played those games. Yeah. So we are all a, a group of thieves. OK. And uh, we are going, the game plays uh, four to eight players. Okay. okay. Yep. So each turn, we're going to take turns being the heist master, okay? So when it's your turn, you're going to pick half the number of players in the game to go on a heist. So okay. in a four-player game, yep. usually you'll pick yourself, almost always you'll pick yourself. Yeah, of course. And you're going to pick one Trust more person myself. to go on the heist with you. Mm -hmm. During this selection phase, there is infinite deals that can be offered. I can tell you, I'll give you a dollar to take, to take me with right, you, and somebody right. can go two or whatever. I can make you promises. I'll be like, if you take me, I'll take you with me next time. Sure, yeah. I can say, I promise to go honorable if you choose me, right? Yep. So that's very important, but no deal is binding. I can even go, I'll pay you a dollar to take me, and you go, I'll take it, and you'll be like, okay, I'm going to take this person right. instead. So there is no honor between us. Okay. Okay. Once you select who's going with you, what we're going to do is we're going to take our little honor chips here. You'll, no, you'll yeah, note double -sided. the Othello double-sided right, yeah. chips here. And what we're going to do is we're going to decide whether we want to be honorable or not. Okay. First, okay. you're going to pick which house we're going to run on. These have different themes to them. It's not super these important are targets? right now. These are okay. targets. Yeah, okay. Right. These are not, sorry, they're not houses. They're businesses. Mm, okay. So these are the mm. big corporations. Okay. And basically, these decks are filled with people who know information, and we blackmail them, sure. essentially. Okay. okay. So uh, these decks are tiered. As you go down, they, you start to get more and more important people, worth more money, et cetera. But anyway, the important part is you and I are going on a heist. Yeah. And we got to decide if we're going to backstab each other or if we're going to be honorable, OK? Right. So you're going to cover it. And when, when you're done, mm -hmm. we'll just reveal. Ready? Go. Yeah. OK, so we're both honorable. Yeah, we are. So you chose to run on the blue corporation. I did. Yep. We're going to re reveal two here. So we got a total of six. Right. So we both get $6. So we would grab, you'd get six. I get six. These That's players, the way you do it. Right. Yeah. There's player screens here. Yep. So you can hide, hide it so you don't okay. know how much I have yep. so that you can't barter, etc. Okay, so that's great. We're gonna put these in the discard pile. Yeah. The next turn, mm. we don't have any other real players. No, no. So I'm gonna take you with oh, me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here it goes. Yeah. You ready? Oh yeah. One, two, three, go. See now oh. we both went oh, dishonorable. Yeah. Okay. So let's pretend I went honorable and you went dishonorable. Sure, so okay. every honorable person, you are gonna reveal one card, like we did here, because we revealed two. Yes, yeah. And then you're dishonorable, you're gonna take one of these and put it behind your screen. Oh, interesting. All right, all right. Okay, so now what happens, it doesn't really matter what, what number's on there. There's like one yeah. icon that can matter. But what happens is all the dishonorable players, which is just you, yeah. are going to collect double the amount shown, double uh -huh. the sum. Okay. So if there okay. was a third person and the third person was honorable, you'd draw two face up. Yep. And then you would get 10. Gotcha. Right? So you, you stabbed us in the back and you ran yeah, off yeah. with all the loot there. So okay. you'd get a bunch of money. Yeah. Now the thing is, you've been dishonorable and, and you, you backstabbed is me. Is that what this is tracking here? No, that's not that. Okay. That's why we have this chart oh, here. Okay? Okay, so we have okay. this little scoreboard here. You would lose an honor and then I would gain an honor. Okay? okay. At the end of the game, if you have the lowest amount of honor, you're eliminated. Okay. I got gotcha. you. So a little incentive not to go too crazy. Not to go Even too crazy. Even though there's a lot of, uh, at stake there. Okay. What this matters for is, let's say you would have gotten this card. Mm -hmm. It has a little honorable icon yep. here. Yep. At the end of the game, you're going to reveal all these cards you have, and for each one that has an honorable icon, you're going to move up one. Interesting. So I don't even really know exactly. You know, I, this gives me a sense of where people are. Correct. But I might be stashing a whole bunch of correct. honorable, knowing I can be a little more devious. So this mm. is this game is based off. If you're familiar with game theory, the prisoner's dilemma. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. This is exactly what this game is based yeah. off of. And the prisoner's dilemma is solved if you do it once. Right. But the prisoner's dilemma becomes a lot more complicated when you do it in times. You're doing it 15 or 20 <laughs> right, times. Right. And you and I have established a relationship where three rounds ago you said that I could pay you five dollars to take yeah. me with you, and you didn't. Right. And now I'm like, well, I'll take you with me, yeah. and then I backstab you. Right. So it's that's clever. Constant like yeah. lying and negotiating. You're trying to buy back favor from people. Right. There are these event cards where some of these will trigger an event. Right. You draw an event card and you reveal it there. So there's a little more randomness and okay. variability there. But I know there's a nice little uh, play area here on the yeah, back as well. It tells you all you the information there on the back. How long does a game typically take to play? The game takes about half an hour, 45 minutes. It depends. Obviously, if there's like eight players in the game, it can be a little bit longer because of the conversation. Period. Right, but, right. But basically, half the players in the game play every turn. And even when you aren't playing, you can still try and buy your way into play. Right. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. So. Excellent. So when is this going to be available? This is available now. It it's came now. out uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the overview. This is a game that interests you. You can keep an eye out for it. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.